Today we are very lucky to speak to Melbourne artist Lynn Jans. Lynn, welcome to Art Galleria and thank you for inviting us into your studio today. We are very much looking forward to speaking to you, Lynn, and um, about some of the paintings um, I can see here, beautiful paintings in your studio and maybe also about your personal history as an artist, your accomplishments as a painter and your aspirations for the future. But um, maybe before we come to that, uh, Lynn, tell us a bit about your beginnings. How did you become a painter and when did you become a painter? I've always been very artistic. I love singing. I was a performer as well, mm -hmm. singing teacher. So I've done a fair bit in my life. Um, but then there came a time in my life where I actually had a very bad accident and uh, it had bedridden me for quite a few years. So this is where uh, I became very, uh, that's when becoming an artist was, uh, I decided that I would do it full time because I wasn't able to work anymore. And I found, the doctor said to me um, that by painting, it would bring on your healing. So. It actually did. It did. Yeah. So in your paintings, did you work on your own experiences then? I did, okay. yeah. I worked on the dark side, the good side, but basically, on my journey, I, I discovered God, um, which uh, I've written a book on my testimony, how I um, was, well, I'd say totally resurrected from my bed, because I was in bed for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. Couldn't move, chronic pain sufferer. Mm -hmm. But as I started to paint, I would get into this, I don't like using, like using the word trance, but it kind of was, in a way. But uh, basically, meditation and I would pray and um, things would just come out and I would put it on a canvas mm -hmm. or paper. I can see your paintings are full of colours, dark colours, light colours and there seems to be a, a, a lot of flow between these two, like two um, or different energy fields in, in, in your painting. Um, different colours, have they got different meanings? Yes they do. It's, um, mm -hmm. Uh, interpretation of my spirituality, um, the curves, the crosses, the glory. It's one of my series is Curves, Crosses and Glory, which you can see there's um, different symbolic symbols, um, a cross or a bird, symbolic of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, brings peace. And I don't intentionally put it in there. So it just happens. It happens. Yeah. It just so in, in the process of painting, it just comes up? You yes. Don't, it's, is that rather an emotional process then when you paint, or rather than rational? Or can, how can you describe the process of painting then? Well, I actually pray before I do anything and mm -hmm. I get myself into a nice peaceful state. Because I mean, obviously if you're going to paint, you've had a rattle day, it's going to come out on the canvas. So, yes, I and, guess. And, and yeah. a couple of my paintings, my earlier paintings, do actually show the pain that I've been through, mm -hmm. like my physical pain. Mm -hmm. But and as I get um, closer to God myself, my work starts to reflect that. And um, so the symbolic bird is uh, the Holy Spirit. It just comes up. It's there. So could could I say or think um, that you're actually telling stories in your paintings? Is that what it is? On my website, mm. um, I actually explain some of my paintings and mm -hmm. so that the viewer can get an idea and then it's up to them and they can interpret the painting any way they want mm -hmm. and that's what it's meant to do. But my second series, which is Colour of Life, I wanted to, ha I wanted to show people that it's not such a bad world. I've, I've often said to people that life's a journey and heaven's a reality to me. And so we do out the best we can in life. But we, you know, we, we wake up in the morning, we go to work, we do this, we do that, we give birth, we get married, we have children. But sometimes we're so involved with all the bad negative things of life. And mm. I find that a lot of artists tend to reflect that 
or the demonic side of life, which I don't want to do that. I want to reflect the beauty of life and God's creation and what he has given to us. And one of the, the, the most beautiful thing he has given to us, and I believe, is colour. And we don't look at it. I don't walk down the street and I'll see a tree and I'll look at the different shades and and then I'll look into the sky, I'll see a rainbow and, I, and I'll sit there and study. And I just think, wow, God, you're so amazing. And then I get goosebumps. And then, I'll, then what I'll do is I'll go home in my studio and I'll start to paint and I'll create whatever comes out of my spirit. Yeah. Well, colour creates mood, doesn't it? It does. Mm. Mm. But I can see even you know, in some of the paintings here, you have a very dark background. So what does that darkness mean in the background? And lots of swirly or, you know, colourful movements um, in, in a different dimension. You'll see in twins um, different colours, curves. Um, you'll see one side a bit darker, the other side a bit lighter. Uh, you'll see the journey of life. You'll see on the right hand side an embryo. You'll see birth. You'll see joy. You'll see symbolic symbols, crosses, um, birds representing the Holy Spirit. And as you go to the other side, it starts to get a little bit darker and also, of course, right up the top, and then that's the decision we make out of life. I also looked at twins, and um, I don't know if, it, I, if I interpret it right, but I guess, you know, whoever looks at it sees something in it, and that's probably what one should do. And it, it, to me, it, it triggered this idea of, well, the world is, is um, neither good nor bad. There's always, you know, different fields of energy, and same happens in a persona, same happens in... in, in like in the macrocosmos, just in, in different people. So you have the bad, the, the dark, the good, and you know, that's that sort right. of different um, energies, probably even fighting each other. Or is that what you want to convey, or am I wrong? Well, it's the inner man, you know, the battle, um, the search, meaning of life. What is life about? Is there a God? Isn't there a God? Mm. And I basically, I want, when a person looks at my paintings, I'd like them to be able to feel that higher power, jump out of the canvas, literally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was also asking you, I mean, you mentioned just the uh, paintings you have um, ex exhibited in Ormond Hall. Do you have also um, your paintings in galleries and maybe other public spaces? Well, well I have exhibited in Queensland, in galleries. I've exhibited at um, Docklands and I've also I'm continuously putting my work in competitions and that's all on my website. Mm. Many, uh, many of the competitions I have become finalists. Mm. One. Um, and I guess I... As being an artist, it's good to do that. You need you need to get your work out there, and competitions are a good way for people to view your work. And out of the competitions, uh, my work has been on different various websites from different galleries, mm -hmm. um, like Rapture had won an award, so that was on there. I've got Eternal Flame, which is another beautiful painting, mm -hmm. and and that just talks about the eternity of life and how, you know, um, also you, you, the representation of fire also. You know, you can either be hot or cold. Mm -hmm. um, One and of the you can elements, either, that's right. the Greek elements. That's right, <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay, yes. There's one piece that I did called Christos, and I did that in the middle of the night. I got, I got woken up. It was just a sense, I turned the television on and there was a movie on St. Peter, I think it was, mm -hmm. and how he was carrying his cross and, and all the hardships he went through. And all of a sudden I started to realise, and it's almost like, I shouldn't use the word automatic painting, but that's what it felt like, pick mm -hmm. up my brush and just kind of, mm. and uh, you will see it, at, there's a journey that happens. Mm -hmm. In the beginning of my career, I did a lot of my own exhibitions. I did at Eureka Tower, Ormond Hall, and so I did a lot of my own exhibitions, mm -hmm. which sometimes can be good or bad, um, but um, it's also good to go in the gallery. But Gallery 2022 20, in Haunted Road at the moment has been mm -hmm. good because people can can make appointment, can come and have a look. Mm -hmm. Plus my work is at Westpac, um, corner of Swanson and Collins Street, um, cafeteria in the city. I've sort of taken a different route. I thought, well, I'll get my work out there, mm. galleries plus other spaces. And I think the bank's been a really good space as well. Mm -hmm. And also another 
gallery up in, in Molan Street, Mitcham, which is actually a church in the front and they got a gallery in the back. Mm. So, mm. yeah, I try Melbourne. all different different spaces. Yes. Yeah. And Melbourne has a lot of galleries and a lot yeah. of places too. That's you know, right. In this very active art scene here. Yeah. Yes. And so um, what are your plans for the future? Well, I, I, I continue to paint and I'll continue to exhibit. I'd like my work to go internationally. What I've been really happy about and impressed about is that everything's quite positive about my art. And I think it's the colour. People just go colour. And that's why I believe the Asian market will love it. Because they have symbolic colours like red, green. They all mean something. Mm. They're, they're more open to the spiritual realm. I think the Western world isn't. Mm unfortunately. <laughs> they just go uh, from day to day and this is why I believe some of my pieces can um, maybe awaken them a little bit, that there there is more to life and you don't have to go day to day, that there is a meaning to life and you can connect to it with a higher force. Uh, and many of my paintings reflect that. What are the challenges in, pr in promoting your art? And the, what, what sort of the greatest um possibly even difficulties do you find there? There's many challenges in being an artist, you know. There's always, the, it's basically also where, it, in, a, in Australia, it, it, it seems to be not as popular as it used to be. Like, people go to an art gallery or they'll go to the National Gallery and they'll, they'll view it, but whether they'll purchase it, that's another thing. Unless mm. you're a blackman or something, mm -hmm. um, it can be a little bit challenging. Mm -hmm. But I've had some really good breaks. Mm -hmm. I've also been in the artist palette. They, they did a five-page article on me. I, I tend to just enjoy the ride and the opportunities that come along. Mm -hmm. and uh, take hold of them, yeah. Lynn, thank you very much for speaking to us today, explaining about your painting, your concept of life, your spirituality. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you, and thank you to Art Galleria.